fade in. Hello, I'm Michelle. And I'm Natalie the Red. And we are at Force of I Entertainment. Well, I wanted to talk today because I saw an interesting article in the New York Post. Uh, you guys know the how we feel about cancel culture. Well, we're beginning to see some celebrities speak out against cancel culture. And let's add yet another one to that, num that growing number. And that is Chris Rock, comedian Chris Rock. Uh, he, of course, is out on the junket talking to different uh, sites and things for his movie Spiral. And when he was talking with uh, one or Power 105, he began to talk about cancel culture. And he had some really excellent points, I think, about cancel culture. He he talked about how basically it makes things it makes things boring. And it does. Yeah, I'd have to agree with that. Well, because if you're so afraid all the time of what you're gonna say or who you're going to offend, and I mean, trust me, I I I think most decent people try not to offend other people. Yeah. But I've always said, like, in comedy, you do have to take risks. Like, exactly. sometimes it sticks, sometimes it doesn't, but you have to be willing to try. But if you feel like you can't take risk, it really limits what they can do with comedy. Well, beyond comedy, he was saying in general, it makes entertainment yeah. boring. And I well, think anyone, too. anyone in this channel kind of feels, a lot of you guys feel that way. He said... And when everyone gets safe, no one tries anything and things get boring. And he said, I see a lot of unfunny comedians. I see unfunny TV shows. I see unfunny award shows. I see unfunny movies because everybody's scared to make a move. And I think that pretty summer, I think that summarizes I feel like it. we've basically said that multiple times. Well, yeah, but it's, it's, it's just so nice yeah. to hear a, a celebrity like Chris Rock, who's been around for several decades at this point. Um, I mean, back since like the early 90s with yeah. SNL and stuff. I mean, he's been in our lifetime the whole time. <laughs> he has. Much. Yeah, to be, to be coming out against cancel culture because it is impacting things because we've talked it off, not ever on our show, but just we love, we grew up with comedies and we grew up with people like Chris Rock and Chris Farley and Jim Carrey and then eventually Will Ferrell and Ben Stiller and those type people. And really, you kind of see after like the Hangover series in the early, well, the, the into the 2010 era. Like comedy started to die. It just started, it has died. Like, where is it? Like, there, there's I mean, really there, not there are a couple comedies gems anymore. Here and there, but they're few and far between. Yes. And I think a lot of it is because of cancel culture and, and the fact that I know the last time Robert Downey Jr. was on uh, the Seth Rogen. Seth, no, just Seth Rogan, the Joe Rogan podcast, the Joe Rogan experiment that they were talking and they were talking about how, of course, a very funny movie, Tropic Thunder came out in 2008 and they were talking about how they could not do that movie today. It's true. And that's just such a perfect example of what Chris thought, Rock is saying. I had that thought when I watched it about a year ago. It's yes. Like, oh, this, this for, for multiple different today. reasons. Yes. Like for it's several. Not even just one. Yes. It's for several different things. But that movie is hysterical. And a lot of people find it hysterical. But cancel culture, as we've said before, sucks the fun, sucks the life out of everything because everything causes offense and you can't say this again, it's really just kind of censoring what can be said or done and it's just obnoxious. So I, I totally agree with what he is saying on this. And in this journey of life, we need to laugh. We do. Like it, we do. We, we it's, need it's, genuine it's, comedy. I mean, laughter is, we, it's good for the heart. I mean, it's good literally physically. It's proven yeah. that laughter is good for us and we need to be able to not, be so uptight. So serious. So serious. I mean, really, for the people that are behind cancel culture, the ones that jump on with it, it's it's like the Joker. Why so serious? It's, it's you, just you like, kinda, why? You kind of wonder where the joy is in their life, and you hope yeah. that there's some somewhere. Yeah, you really do. Taking everything so seriously. And, and he went on to say, and I like, he said this about comedians. He said, you really don't have to cancel us because we get the message when people don't laugh. <laughs> right. And it's like, that is true. Yeah. Like if comedy doesn't Loud land, clear, you know. if it doesn't land with people, then it's not funny. And what makes comedy, most comedy so good? There's like truth in it. Yeah. It, it touches a part of our reality, but they do it in a lighthearted way that makes you laugh about it. Right. 
And that's just thus not taking things too. I mean, some things obviously yeah. you have to take very seriously, but a lot of things in life you really don't. Like I, I you know, I always say like. You can laugh or cry about it. Like sometimes I do both, but sometimes you just want to laugh about it. Yeah. So I'm just excited because this is, we talked about on our weekly roundup, the Gal Gadot situation and say Pedro Pascal has now kind of come out, I guess, for Gal. And then he's getting attacked and people, and he needs to realize that too. When you just stand by and are silent as people like Gina Carano get canceled, uh, they'll come for you next. So I just, these are the people you're pleasing. Yes. So, so I'm take a look. Yes. Yeah, so I'm just glad anytime a celebrity comes out against it. And there does seem to be more and more that are finding their voice to just be willing to speak out against it. And I think it definitely should come from comedians because that's a part of comedy is, is stepping on toes a little bit or, or hitting subjects that maybe are a little dicey at times. I yeah. mean, that's, that's just comedy. It is poking fun, making light of serious situations sometimes. Right. So I'm when well, well, I saw even Donald Glover, who is in solo. Of yeah. Course. Well, and he's a, he was in a community, a comedy. OK, yeah. Yeah. I didn't realize that till I read that recently. I didn't realize he was on that. Uh, but, you know, he kind of said the same thing, like yeah. just in general about movies that it's like, you know, in art and everything, like it's taking what this stuff's boring now. So he, you're right. He's he used almost the ex I think the exact same word that it's right. boring. And both uh, Glover and Rock are right on this, that it makes entertainment boring. And it's just time for the the for it's time really for smaller people that are making movies and things just to shoot for the stars. Just go for just, it. Just yellow. Because guess what? Sometimes politically incorrect things are funny. In fact, are oftentimes the they are the funniest. And that's what comedians used to tap into. That's what SNL used to tap into. And now they're too afraid to do it half the time. Uh, so let's make America funny again, is, is what I say. Uh, let, let's get back to, to comedy. Uh, so I, you know, shout out to Chris Rock, because you know he's watching this. This I video, mean, naturally, <laughs> he's one of our subscribers. But yeah, I mean, Chris Rock's a funny dude. He's been in, in comedy as, as long as I've been alive. So I'm just glad for him to be voicing his his opinion and expressing these thoughts against cancel culture. Right. And people, not that maybe they haven't seen all the way and just haven't expressed it, kind of what's happening in the progression of things, but just to kind of some people might be waking up to like, oh, this is where this leads. Yes. Yeah. It's it's bad, guys. But guys, if you want your shirt that tells cancel culture to go cancel yourself, our T-shirt, I'll put it in the description below. Uh, our T-shirt, people are really enjoying it. But anyways, it is on sale for, I believe, like the next 16 hours or so. So definitely go check that out if you're interested in telling cancel culture to what go to cancel do. themselves. So because that's what we say to it. But anyways, that, that's kind of it for our thoughts on Chris Rock's interview and what he said. And guys, as always, remember to be, be a, a force, force of light. light. All right. Bye.